My name's Gershwin Kutsi and welcome to Mallow TV. Coming up in our episode, we chat to resident neurologist Dr. Uzer Amin and he discusses various issues from headaches, what causes it and provides various solutions to your problem. Here's Dr. Amin. My name is Uzair Amin and I'm a neurologist. I'm told that I work on people's nerves. <laughs> so I, I finished my undergraduate degree at WITS uh, way back in 1994. And I did my internship at uh, the largest hospital in the world, which is Baragwan. And then I did uh, my internal medicine time at Baragwan. And in 2000, I came to Khrushchev Hospital and I did my neurology training. And uh, I finished my specialist exams uh, in 2002. And I then, after I finished my neurology time, I did a fellowship in behavioral neurology, in other words, in dementia. So I see patients with stroke, I see patients with dementia, I see patients with epilepsy, I see patients who lose consciousness for whom my colleagues ask me to give an opinion on. I see patients whose memory is going and who are demented. I see patients with Parkinson's disease. And I see patients with unusual other disorders, movement disorders, tremors. Uh, and I see patients with also, and this is a huge part of my work, patients who uh, have headache um, and patients who think that they've got a neurological illness. You know, for example, the name stroke. Stroke comes from, you know, Middle English in the 17th century where patients were quite normal one evening and they wake up the next morning completely paralyzed uh, and were said to have suffered a stroke of misfortune. Uh, and it can be a very devastating illness. In South Africa, probably the third leading cause of death um, <clears throat> and a huge cause of morbidity, in other words, sickness. And people who have had uh, suffered from strokes often end up with uh, you know, significant long-term problems. Patients who have headaches, which are often not taken seriously, um, simple things like migraine. Um, you know, the World Health Organization says living one day with migraine, the equivalent disability is quadriplegia. Many of us don't recognize just how debilitating and uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, devastating the impacts of these diseases are. So, so we, we deal with all of those. We also deal with lots of inflammatory diseases of the brain and spinal cord, for example, multiple sclerosis. Um, and then, interestingly, it's not only confined to the brain. Uh, we see lots of patients with spinal cord disease. Uh, we see lots of patients who have lots of pain in the arms and legs. And we see lots of patients with peripheral nerve disease. So patients who, for example, have got entrapment or pressure on certain nerves uh, in the hands, in the legs. Uh, patients who've got significant amounts of spine pain and back pain. <clears throat> and patients who have disorders of the junction between the nerve and the muscle. Uh, as well as disorders of muscle itself. All of those are patients that routinely come for neurological assessment. Um, so we, we see a vast breadth of patients. It's not only confined you know, to the brain. Um, uh, our uh, experience here at Gatesville, uh, at Melomed, um, has been to uh, treat patients. Uh, we, we've been here since around the early 2000s. Uh, and uh, we've probably got one of the oldest running stroke units in the country. Um, and um, we started, when I got here, we started the stroke service. And we've been giving patients uh, with acute stroke who come in with a, within a certain time period and who, met, who meet a certain strict set of criteria. We've been giving them therapy uh, for stroke, uh, which is only now becoming more of a vogue in the rest of the country. Uh, but we've, we've been using it for more than 15 years now here. Um, and. Uh, you know, we see we see a lot of those patients as well. <clears throat> so a, a vast majority or a vast breadth of patients that we see uh, with all sorts of assorted, assorted and uh, diverse disorders. What are the common threads, especially when it comes to patients that you see? And, uh, the, and, why, and why are those common threads there? I, I think the, the common threads for me, um, the vast majority of patients that we see um, have illness characterized uh, uh, by a few, a few broad tropes. Uh, the first is uh, stroke, uh, and, and I think the reason why we're seeing stroke, and we're seeing younger and younger patients with stroke. And, uh, the latest patient I've got, for example, in the ward is 32 years old. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why we're seeing younger and younger patients with stroke, I suspect, is because of our lifestyle. 
You know, there are six big risk factors for stroke and heart disease, uh, as was uh, you know illustrated many years ago by Salim Yusuf and, and others. Uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, high cholesterol, uh, smoking, being overweight, and stress. And we lead such stressful lives, and we lead such poor quality of lives in terms of uh, not looking after ourselves and in not taking care of our blood pressures and in not eating properly and in not exercising and in not keeping our weights down that we predisposed ultimately to get these illnesses in which our arteries block up or in which they burst and which lead to significant uh, morbidity and mortality. Um, patients die from stroke um, and it's not, it's not uncommon. Um, so uh, I think that's the one thing. I think in terms of headache, I think we lead such busy lives. Uh, we lead such stressful lives, we lead such lives where we, we don't even have time for ourselves, leave, leave aside our families. But it's not surprising that you know we are going to get the headaches that we do. Uh, and then there's always a genetic predisposition to that. <clears throat> my, my message to, to anybody watching this video is that um, neurological health must be taken as seriously as uh, cardiac or other health. Often it's neglected, often we ignore neurological symptoms don't. Um, and the other message I have is that we are uh, living in an age where stroke is becoming more and more common and I want patients to remember this acronym called FAST, F-A-S-T. Uh, and uh, if you think someone's had a stroke, then remember FAST. The F stands for face and try and get them to smile and if the smile is skew, that's of concern. The A stands for arm. I also use it as appendage. So you ask the patient to move both their arms and both their legs. If the movement is reduced on one side or if it is discoordinate on one side, then think about the possibility that the patient may have had a stroke. Get the patient to speak. That's the S. And if the patient's speech sounds like normal back and sounds a bit snurred, then um, please bring them to see us. And the T stands for time. The sooner the patient comes to hospital, the sooner we can institute appropriate therapy within certain strict uh, parameters. That's it for this episode of Mallow TV. We trust you gain valuable health advice received from specialist neurologist Dr. Amin. If you'd like to contact him for a consultation, please, the details are on your screen right now, or you can reach Dr. Amin at Malamed Gatesville. From all of us at Malamed and myself, Gershwin, could see until next time. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking and sharing our video. Goodbye.